Hello, now it's March 2011. I pick up this nice uh, Moogle pine from a local nursery. You know, just stumble upon it. Uh, I felt it has a good quality to be a good bonsai, so purchase it. As you can see, it has a nice, good structure. Of course, there's a lot of branches that need to be removed, but you know, it has some good basics, so. And just to give an example, just sitting next to this pot, this is uh, another one. This is this is normally what you get. I mean, when you go to buy a mugo pine, um, you know, this is not even a good material for bonsai. This might be very good for your garden, but not for bonsai. So, so that's why um, you know this is a good pick. Uh, so you want to make sure you find a good quality material, or at least that has some potential. Now I just removed this uh, plant from the pot. Uh, you can see it's pretty root bound, so I should transplant it as soon as possible. But I just want to show you, you can also see some kind of white thing, kind of white fungus growing on the roots. This is nothing bad. This is actually good. This happens a lot with the pine trees. They have some kind of uh, microorganism growing with the roots. And this is what, uh, this keeps the uh, plant healthy actually. So you want to keep some of these when you transplant. Okay, it's early April. This Mugo pine seems to be doing well. Uh, I did not repot it yet. I just put it in this, uh, you know, better looking container so that I can enjoy it. Um, actually, the best time to repot the Mugo pine will be in summer. You know, as uh, unlike many other plants, uh, they actually do fairly well if you repot them and prune them in summer. So I'm gonna wait until then. Uh, meanwhile, there's a few things uh, you need to do uh, for maintenance purposes uh, uh, in spring, which is right now uh, the candles will start to grow, the buds will start to grow now. This is what I'm showing you now. So the first thing you need to do is to do uh, bud selection. Usually you just want to keep uh, you know, two buds per branch at the most. So you pick which uh, two you want to keep and you remove the rest. This is just to thin the growth and also to keep it in better shape. If you have you know, too many buds growing, uh, you know, it's going to just waste the energy. Also then the bonsai will not have a good looking shape. You know, just one branch, two buds. Now as to which two buds to, you know, which two buds to keep, which to, you know, to remove, it's really up to you. You know, uh, usually there's a dominant bud, you can see, the biggest one, and then there are a few smaller ones. So, you decide, I mean, you uh, look at the direction of the branches and all the trees, and you decide which direction you want them to go, so, and that's how you pick the buds to remove. To remove the buds, it's quite simple. At this stage, they're kind of uh, tender, so you can just, uh, you know, use your fingers and just, just, you know, fingertips and just remove, you know. In this case, I'm removing the dominant bud, the two biggest ones, and leave the two little ones. In this case, uh, oh, the ear. Just gonna leave. Uh, you don't always need to leave two. There are cases you want to leave one. You know, just leave it. And then when it grows bigger, you can prune it, and uh, it will create more buds later on. So you don't always need to remove all the buds. Okay, this is about three weeks after I did the bud selection. And I left the rest of the bud to grow, and they have now grown into uh, what they call candles now. Kind of a inch to inch long candles. So this is a good sign. We're just going to leave it grow, let it grow a little bit more, and then we do some trimming of the candles. And meanwhile, if you have time, you know you can start cleaning up the dead leaves. 
you look at the middle, a lot of dry leaves, you can just clean them off. Get them ready for the uh, one more look. We saw the buds extended into candles. Finally, it's the last week of May and I waited a long time to, to for this day. The day I start working uh, on this plant, really working on this plant. Uh, so this uh, Mugo Pine, I'm going to do the repotting for the first time. It's a good looking tree. All the buds, most of the buds have extended, all the candles have extended. And the plant looks healthier than ever. So the plan is to reduce all the branches, you know, cut down all the branches that I don't need. Uh, do a little bit thinning. Do a little bit thinning so it's kind of too dense in some areas. You're going to remove some branches so that more lights can penetrate. Okay, to start all these little branches along the trunk I don't need. Uh, some of them you just you can just pluck off with your uh, fingers. So you know this branch is growing inside of the plant. You know. Just to clean out the the first first round of cut is usually the easiest. Just go around, cut anything. That you don't think you're gonna need. Now the thing with the pine is that uh, they're not gonna bud everywhere. I mean, new bud is not gonna come out everywhere on the trunk, on the bare trunk. It will only grow where there are needles. You know, so keep that in mind when you start trimming. Um, if you want. To develop branches in that area in the future so you want to leave more needles in that area yeah. this uh, location of this branch is too low in the overall plant so I'm gonna just cut it there are some little skinny branches here uh, you know really don't need it so again cut cut 